black and yellow What's going on guys, Pros here and today I'm going to be bringing you my Hell build. Now this build is great for League or you know if you want to solo her or even play mid. This build works for both. Now Hell is a mage and she is a magical god and she is the Norse goddess of the underworld. Now I'm going to get into this build and I will be changing a few things from this build uh, that normally I wouldn't be rocking so to say in this build. But anyways to get right into it, I you can see that I do start off with... Warlock Sash to try to get those stacks early, get that power and everything like that, you know, build up my health and mana. And uh, that way I'm ready to go when it comes, you know, team fights, late games, mid games, you know, and everything like that. And uh, then I start building Shoes of Magi. Shoes of Magi um, is a preferred shoe, I guess, over the blue boots. And I don't really know the name of those. But anyways, uh, so I build the, the Shoes of Magi, which are the purple boots with a little bit of blue. And uh, they give more power and everything like that. And then I start building Lotus Crown, so when we get into team fights, I can heal a little bit more, I get some more power, and, uh, you know, I, I'm able to uh, stay in lane longer and not have to keep backing, you know, because I'm getting, losing my health, so I'm able to just heal more, for, um, and everything like that. Uh, you can see that I s then started building, or built Stone of Gaia, and uh, normally I would build Breastplate of Valor in place of that, um, but I was going against an Apwash in this league match, and so I decided I'd build Stone of Gaia. And then you can see I am building Rod of Tehuti. I uh, get some power and everything like that. And then I built Kronos Pendant. Now, normally I would build Soul Reaver in place of Kronos Pendant and then Breastplate of Valor in place of Kronos Pendant or Stone of Guy, I mean. So I would have Kronos Pendant and Soul Reaver if I was going against like a physical god in lane, but I had to alter it and uh, not. So it was kind of a bummer, you know, I couldn't do that. But uh, this is my build for Hell. Uh, you know, I was playing solo lane in a league match, played against an upwash, like I said earlier. And, uh, you know, ended up winning my lane pretty much. But, you know, my team was kind of terrible and they came back and they won. Teammate lagged out and everything like that. So it was just terrible, bad time, bad placing, you know. But uh, everything like that, you know, when it comes to uh, actives and everything like that, um, you're going to either want to get combat blink and teleport to tower or beads you know it always depends combat blink and beads but i'd suggest you strongly rec strongly recommend teleport to ward tower the blue one so you can teleport to wards and towers and everything like that so you don't have to like walk the distance to your lane you can just teleport and then you know by wards by wards by wards and sentry wards and everything like that you know you always want to keep those wards on the map just you know to be safe because you know hell really doesn't have an escape so you always want to be careful um with that being said though guys that's it for this build hope you enjoyed this video uh check out my sponsors down below in the description they should be popping up on the screen as well so with that said my name is pros and i will see you later and don't forget to subscribe because giveaway at 500 subscribers bye bye